Hey friends, welcome back to Simply Home and Harvest. Today we are going to start seeds. We're getting a little bit of a late start in the day. It's been a beautiful day here, but because of life and because it's a Monday, we had some things to do and I didn't get started until later on. So I may, so I'm gonna try to get some seeds going. We'll start the project tonight. If we don't finish it, we'll finish it tomorrow, but I wanted to bring you along and let you see what we are starting for our 2023 garden. So I picked up some of these burpee seed starting kits this year. If you saw my last video, I did a, a little um, haul on there of what we got. But these, this is just a, this one is just a standard greenhouse kit. And I'm gonna use this one for mainly flower seeds, I think. And then the others I bought, I'm gonna use those for vegetable seeds. So we're gonna get it open here. And I decided I would just, it's so pretty out here today that I would just use our deck. And this is more of like a, a counter level for me. So I won't have to lean over so much to do this. And hopefully, I've, I've never used this little seed starting kit before. So it looks like it's pretty easy to follow. It has the instructions on the back here. All right, so first thing we do is pull this out. It's got the little thing where you push your push it down in the soil to get your seed in, I guess. And then you can write on here what you've got in each of your sales. So that's really neat. Oh, and you can see that it, it lines up so it's got A, B, C, D, so you can keep up on your sheets. Awesome. All right, so we're just gonna slide this into the bottom tray and then our lid will go on top to hold the moisture in. All right, so it says to make sure that our little pellets are positioned with the flat side down. I'll show you what one looks like here. And so I guess that would be more of the flat side. They both look pretty flat to me, so maybe it doesn't matter which one, but just to make sure they're not turned on their side. So we're just gonna go in here and make sure that they're all flat. Of course, it's windy out here today because it is March. <laughs> but at least it's not raining. You know, the kids used to help me with these when they were younger. I asked Alex if he wanted to help, but he would rather shoot basketball, and I don't blame him, I guess. As a teenager, I probably would have rather been playing basketball, too. All right, so we got them all flat, and now we're just going to take some warm water and drizzle that over top, and that's supposed to activate them in bring that soil to life. All right, so now that that's done, you can see they're already growing. <laughs> the soil's popping out there. So it's to keep drizzling the water until they fully saturated and fully expanded. So I'll just hit a few that haven't yet. All right, so we've got our soil prepared. I went ahead and sowed our dahlias and I listed that here on the paper so I'll know what slots that they are in. Then I also put a couple of zinnias here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish and do some straw flowers, some marigolds and some more zinnias. And I may leave a couple at the bottom here because I wanna get some verbena seeds and so I'll leave a few slots open for those. Our tray full. I did change my mind and just decide to use what I already had on hand. So I put a little bit of all of these in and I'm keeping track of them on my sheet here. And so we added water directly to this bottom tray. 
if I can lift it up and show you. And this is how we'll add the water in, but you just add it down to the bottom there. And I'm just gonna find a sunny location. So I think for now we'll use our garden window inside in the kitchen um, and we might move them to the building once it gets warm and stays warm. I kind of rethought that um, after the other day just because we're gonna have some cold nights. So I think we'll just keep them inside for now. Okay, today we're back at it. We are going to start our vegetable seeds and I've got these burpee seed starter kits. I don't know if I showed you this on the last one, but these are resell, re, not resellable, they're reusable. And I've got the seed starting mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And the first thing we're gonna do is just, and I am inside today. It's a beautiful day outside, but it's still kind of like, Winds blow a little bit, and um, I just thought it would be easier to contain everything right here on the counter. We'll probably have a mess to clean up, that's okay. Plus, they're going to our garden window, so we won't have far to travel. All right, so today I think we're gonna start tomato seeds, and we're gonna start a few cucumbers. What else you wanna start, Ella? She's hanging out here at the counter with me. Um, I don't know if we wanna start. We'll start some peppers. Start some peppers today. And do I want to start broccoli? I don't know if I want to start broccoli. It might be is it too late to start broccoli. Eight weeks before outdoor planning. Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll start a couple broccoli seeds just to see what happens. I don't know. I'm undecided on that. <laughs> All right, we'll think about it as we go. But our first step is to fill our containers with the seed starting mix. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done. Say so maybe I should do this part outside. Tell you what, I'm gonna do this part outside and then I'll bring you back in. Okay, I went ahead and filled my trays up with the dirt outside and I just noticed that on the inside of the little label is a diagram where you can label everything that you put in your pods. So, um, I don't know that we'll do that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and put our seeds in. And I'm taking my little stick here and just making a hole. talk over a basketball game in the background. Now I'm going to go ahead and sow my seeds. I've got my labels in. We're going to do Roma tomatoes, delicious tomatoes, beefsteak tomatoes, homestead tomatoes. Then over here we're doing purple bell pepper, green bell pepper, some space master cucumbers, and muncher cucumbers. And I'm not going to do but six cucumbers. And then these two slots, I'm going to plant some rosemary. And that is what we're going to do for starters. And then, you know, I could always go back and fill some cups or something with some starting soil and plant some more seeds. But for now, I think this is a good start and what I can keep up with. So we're gonna drop these seeds in real quick. in each one of these pods because sometimes you don't have you know all of them come up and I've just always been told to to sow at least two or three seeds in each one so we've got four Roma tomatoes four delicious tomatoes four beefsteak tomatoes four homestead tomatoes now if I decide I want more Romas or more of any of these I can always go back and plant some later on but this is what we're gonna start with I think this is a great start and possibly more than we need. <laughs> so, and then over here, I just did um, four of our purple bell peppers, 
four of our green bell peppers. I did four Space Master cucumbers, two of the Muncher cucumbers, because if you remember, we've got a lot of pickles, so I said I wasn't gonna do as many cucumbers this year, and they'll just be for eating, sharing. We might make a batch of pickles, just not sure yet. Then I did two things of rosemary, just because I had rosemary on hand, and my rosemary always dies. So I thought I would just do a couple of them, and maybe we'll see if we can get a good rosemary, rosemary plant this year. So this is what we've got. I'm gonna go ahead and water it. We're gonna put some plastic over top and then I'm gonna put it in the garden window. All right, so I watered everything with just like a warm water and then I'm gonna show you, it goes through to this little drip tray underneath and that's where you keep your water. So if I wanna water these later on, you just add a little water to that drip tray. You wanna keep water in the bottom of it and then the plants will just suck that up from the roots. But I will say I've never covered my seedlings before when they've been in my garden window. And so I don't know if that's a necessary thing to do, but that's what our kit says to cover them until they sprout. So we'll do that. Maybe that'll help them sprout quicker. And then once they sprout, I think we'll be okay to take it off. All right, so if you've never seen our garden window, this is it. It came with the house. I absolutely love it. It has little windows to open on the side. And every year, this is where I start my seeds and it always works so well. So normally I have lots of like red cups or white styrofoam cups. So this looks a whole lot better, a whole lot neater this year. Um, but this is what we've got. And you can see the sun will come in there at the top. And this is our setup. And then we've got our flower seeds that we started. I already checked, no sprouts yet, but probably in about a week, we'll see some action on these. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope that will help you if you're thinking about starting seeds. That's a really easy way to go ahead and get started. And like I said, that's a convenience item. You know, I don't normally do it like that, but I'm, when I was at Tractor Supply and saw that, I thought I'm gonna try it out and just see how this works this year. So if you wanna be easy on yourself and have something that's step-by-step -step that will walk you through everything, I think that's a good kit to get. All right, well, I am going to leave you here and I'll be back next time with probably some decorating, maybe some organizing videos. Who knows what you might see on this channel. And I would love to have you join me on this journey here on YouTube. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button today. And until next time, I hope you'll remember to live simply, use what you have, and enjoy the moments you've been given. And I will see you in the next one, friends.